Hello everyone, welcome to Pantaki Learning. Today, let's see about how to load a CSV file in Jupyter Notebook. In Python, when we solve machine learning problems, the first thing we need is the dataset. And these datasets are commonly available in CSV file format. So let's see how to load the CSV file in Jupyter Notebook. Before that, I'm going to show an example of a CSV file. The dataset I'm having is an insurance dataset which is in CSV file format and I'm going to open it using Excel. So this is the data set for machine learning problem. So it contains various features and we are going to predict the charges based on the factors. So to do this, we have to load this data set. Let's see how to load this in Jupyter Notebook. Let me just open the Jupyter Notebook. I'm going to load the Jupyter Notebook with the help of Anaconda Navigator and I am going to launch the Jupyter Notebook here. Now we have opened the Jupyter Notebook and I am going to create a new folder. I am going to create it in the desktop and here is a new, I am going to create a new folder here which is termed as untitled folder. Let's go inside and I am going to create a new python file inside it. And here our python file have been opened. So now let's do the machine learning stuff. So to start we have to import the library. The library we need here is pandas. Pandas is a library which is used for like for analyzing and modifying the data. So I'm going to import pandas. And I'm going to import pandas as pd. This is short representation. You can give any name. I'm going to give pandas as pd. So whenever I need to call I can just type pd and I don't want to type pandas. In case we, when we write bunch of codes, it will be very useful because it saves a lot of time. So I'm going to run this. Yeah, we have imported pandas as pd. Now we have to open the dataset with the help of pandas. To load the dataset, I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to assign the dataset there. So let me just give a name like data is equal to. Now with the help of pandas, we need to call the CSV file. So I'm going to call pandas pd dot and there are various features there and I'm going to use the read underscore csv which is used for opening the csv file. This will help to open the csv file. And since this I have created a new folder here in the desktop and my csv file is in another folder. So since they both are in different directory, I have to enter the entire path of the folder csv file to read this. If we have that excel csv file in same path as that of this Jupyter notebook, if both of them in same path then we have we can just mention the name of the csv file. I'll show you both the example. Now both of them are in different place so I have to enter the entire path. Let me go and just copy the entire path. Here is my dataset folder and I'm going to copy this path here and you have to enter the name also and I'm going to paste it and uh, insurance.csv okay now you have entered the path and this will surely show an error let me just run this yes we got an error and it is unicode escape to overcome this we have to just enter an r before the double quotes to mention it, it is just a raw string and now when I run this it will run properly so it is it has run like since both of them are in different path i have entered this entire path let me just show you an example here i am going to just enter the name of the file and if i run this we will surely get an error yeah it showed an error because it can't find the folder it can't find the file or directory dot insurance dot csv so if we need to do like this we have to copy that csv file and paste it in the same folder i mean in the same directory like i am going to copy this and uh, i created a folder a title folder and i am going to paste it here yeah now it will run properly let me run this again and yeah it ran so we have load, loaded the data set let me show you this data set yeah, here it is. The data set have been loaded here. It has 1338 rows and 7 columns. We can see like other features. Yeah, here are the first 5 features using the head. 
and we can also see the tail also last five features yeah that's it that's it for today i hope you guys have learned how to read the csv file in jupyter notebook thank you all